Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 10th of May. I hope you had a lovely weekend. We have got some new mods. We have got some updates. There is a new map out today, which I'm really looking forward to doing the review on. Italia demo version by Edomod, Sbaffo Farming and SMI modding team. It looks a bit of a beauty, but anyway. The updates from left to right. Farming Legend map by Fernand24, the SIP Silvercut Disc 300F S Flow by Agra Design Austria, the Lizard Forest Trailer Pack by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbau, and the Ursus C360 covers by Listy U have all had updates today. In front of me, then, we have got the small shelter by McHallock. 1.62 megabytes download, five slots on console, is seasons ready. You'll find it under sheds and it's 5,000 to buy and place. We have some ivy on it, nicely detailed. I mean, it's going to be a small machinery shed. It's not particularly big and the entryways aren't that big, but you may find use for it. That's a small shelter by McHallock. Next, we've got the selling station. This 3.75 megabytes download, five slots on console. It's by Piece Paisel 360. It's five slots, 5,000 to buy. You'll find it under miscellaneous and placeables. It's a sell point. Nicely detailed, nicely made. Good that it gives you a height restriction so you know what you're looking at. Even the little details like that with the bales up the top there is pretty cool. Drive through can make life a little bit easier as well. Once you've bought it and placed it, it will come on as barn and if we scroll right back to start it's the main sell point prices are pretty good i mean it's like any sell point they will fluctuate and vary like all the sell points will they very rarely stay set in place but we can do everything potatoes sugar beets sugar cane eggs milk and then the stuff that you would normally take to the barn silage grass hay and straw so yeah under placeables and miscellaneous selling station for 5000 again i say the price is 5000 the same with that one as long as the, your ground is level th that price may fluctuate a little bit if it requires a little bit of landscaping if the ground's not level um but there you go selling station by pisel 360 next we've got the red house this by bartson v3 and pazemek 23433 this is 6.76 megabytes download, eight slots on console. You'll find it under farmhouses. It is a sleep trigger. It is 40,000 to buy. It's another one. I mean, it's a placeable sleep trigger. You can't go into the building. Nicely detailed, nice bit of weathering and stuff on it. We have a sleep trigger just here at the front door there. I think when we get to the steps here, I don't know if it extends, does it extend right across? Oh yeah, it does. It just I thought it was separate, two separate ones, but it kind of just extends from here. There you go. 40 grand for the red house. Sleep trigger. Unaplaceables and farmhouses. That's by Bartson V3 and Pazemek 23433. Next we've got this. This is the placeable movable Amish shed pack. This is by Scarred Soul 13. There are two in this pack. One is a placeable shed. Three slots. The actual pack is 4.24 megabytes to download. So we come up to it, we can open the door. He says, open the door. There's a ramp. Lights come on automatically. He says lights come on automatically, but looks like they did. Let's close that again. Yeah, it's a very faint light. Yeah, there is a light that comes on. And it's a shed. Lovely. You'll find it under sheds. But the second one is movable. So that one, if you just get sheds, that place is down, bang, done, there's your shed. Lovely. The second one is available, but that's found under tools. Sorry for the noise. The neighbours having building work done. <laughs> it's under tools and miscellaneous. I'll show you that one. So we go to tools, go to miscellaneous. So the movable arm is shed 3,200. That's also three slots which drops down to one. Now, interestingly, the movable one is 3,200. But I'm pretty sure... Well, we'll have a look at it anyway. I wasn't going to, but we will. 
Yes, 5,500 for the placeable one. So the one that just stays in place is 5,500. The movable one is 3,200, which is quite surprising. Now, we enter this building like you would a vehicle. So when I come to it, if I press square, I have then got the option to fold movable army shed, which does that. Close cover puts the ramp away. And by folding it and closing it, if I come back out again, it gives us... A hook lift attachment on the back which then means you can pick it up put it onto a trailer this is also strap downable so if you put it onto a, another trailer somehow drag it on push it on however you want to do it and um, you can strap it down onto vehicles as well for longer transport jobs but yeah that's going to drive banging it's going to drive me mad today i've got a map tour to do kind of that so we back up hook up load container it's already built onto the skids, so you can move it around. <laughs> and off you go with your shed. Have shed, will travel. It's like a very big snail. Go wherever you want to go. When you're done, drop off your container. Now, one thing I have found with this is I don't think, once it's placed like that, I didn't go as straight as it could have done. Let's do that. We'll hop out. So we've got the attach on the back. If we go to it, enter the vehicle again, or enter it. Unfold. Open cover. So if I come back out of it, that should have gone from the back. Yep. So that's in place now. But yeah, what I was going to say was, you can't close the doors. You can enter it. Well, I suppose, yeah, the only problem you've got is you can't then use it kind of like a regular shed. If I do fold, it will do that. And I have to come out of it. Yeah, it's a minor thing, I guess, but so the, the actual, the movable one, the doors won't operate as you might expect, I suppose is the only way to put it. But there you go. A transportable shed. <laughs> Rather a clever idea. I like that. So, the placeable movable Amish shed pack by Scarred Soul 13. Let's turn that off. Next we have this. This is the Buildings with Cow Shed. It says one thing on the website, one different thing on the mod, mod hub, but Buildings with Cow Shed. This is by Zefti and Clacier. It's 16.33 megabytes download. It's 30 slots on console. This will hold 10 animals. You'll find it under animal pens and it's 72,000 to buy. Obviously, that could also vary depending on how flat your land is. It may require a bit of landscaping. So under placeables and animal pens, Nicely detailed, lots going on. Like I said, it will hold 10. The only thing, I'm not sure if that is the light switch for any lighting, but because of we've got different triggers here, if I go across just a bit, we've got our animal dialogue box trigger. So this will this will be for your 10. Now, obviously, these are already in here. You don't actually get an animation of 10 cows, but you can put 10 in here. Then just straight across to there opens the gate. So I haven't been able to get anything to come up for a light switch there. But then what we've also got is just out here, about here, is your feed trigger. So for total mix ration, straw, uh, no, grass, hay, whatever you're going to put. Um, that's here. The straw trigger is right over here right up by this wall you have to be careful what trailer you use the first one i used every time the trailer back tried to open it pushed the trailer away from the wall just enough that it came away from the trigger so the trigger is quite close to the wall just over here for straw and the water trigger is just here so all the triggers are pretty much on top of each other i haven't been able to get that to open either up there i don't know oh there we go there is a hayloft Doors open. Oh, no, hang on. Let's see if that switch will work. No, open and close gate. We've got two drive-through doors. 
And then this one on the end here is a single with no drive through there. But I say it's very nicely detailed. There is a ladder. I don't know if we can, we, can we move that ladder? No, it's fixed in place. I was say you could use that ladder then to get round to get up into the uh, hayloft. But that being said, there are a few different ladder mods and stuff around. Now, as far as well, one thing I haven't found, I'll be honest with you, is I'm, I'm wondering whether it's here. It doesn't seem obvious. Your slurry point is just here. Your manure appears just there. But as far as milk goes, I'm not sure where the milk point is. Like I say, there doesn't seem to be anything obvious. I mean, I've only just put it all in and set it all up. I just fast forwarded time enough so I could see where the manure was. But as far as milk goes, it's going to be another one of those ones you have to drive around the building until the trigger comes up because there's nothing really kind of... I know it doesn't really help very much, but you know what? Bear with me a second. I couldn't leave you hanging. I went and grabbed a tanker. I backed up and right into this corner, pretty much where the straw trigger was, putting straw in and it came up start filling. So the milk point, although it's, there's not really anything there that would let you know it was. But the milk point was just about here by the bike. So yeah, there we go. Um, that's the Buildings with Cowshed by Zefti and Klakir. Moving on. We have this. This is the Pendulum Harrow U238 by PT Mods, I think it is. It is 6.96 megabytes to download. It is six slots on console. It's three meters wide and it's a power harrow. Got the PTO attachment just in there. There's a couple of different options available on this. You can have it as a standard, just a harrow. And we've got different uh, kind of basket roller sections on the back. So you'll find this under tools and power harrows. Now one thing about this is the price is brilliant. And the horsepower requirement. Normally power harrows, the power requirement for the size is quite high. These ones are 4 metre ones requiring 100 horsepower. Uh, 95 horsepower for a 3 metre one there. This one... Only requires 40, 40 horsepower for a three meter. I know it's not very big, but it'll run at six miles an hour as well. Options available. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. We can change the design color to anything on that palette. Design standard, or with the cover, and then roller standard, spike roller, or flat bar roller. Back to standard. Those are your options. We turn it on. Cool animation. Everything moving side to side. Little cam on there. Drop it down. So for a power harrow, 40 horsepower requirement for very small machinery on a small farm setup. Nice bit of kit that. So there you go. That's the Pendulum Harrow U238 by PT Mods. Next, we have got this. This is the Grimmer GL660 by Pushcap. It is 5.19 megabytes download. It is four slots on console. It's a potato planter. It's six meters wide. Now, we do already have a six meter wide planter, and it's the... Grimmer GL, I want to say 86, compactor. So it's the same width. The only downside to this is the capacity is a lot less. I think the capacity is a lot less, it seems to be. Mind you, the other one I think is split between fertiliser and... Let's have a quick look. The GL860 compactor is 99 grand, requires 170 horsepower. Yeah, 6 metres wide. 9,020, but it does fertiliser and seed. But this one is only 57 grand, so a lot cheaper. Only requires 102 horsepower. It does 3,975 litres of seed, so a little bit less than the other one. Like I said, the other one is split between seed and fertiliser. No options available. You get it as it is. It's under potato technology. We do have 
seven minutes to work. Ridge markers, if you want to use them. Like I say, it doesn't fold up, so it's not going to be great on maps with like narrow lanes, uh, hedges with collisions, that kind of thing. It might be a bit of an issue, but on some of the bigger maps, it might be okay. Like I say, because it's a lower horsepower requirement and it's a little bit cheaper as well, it might just be a better option. And away you go. Six metres of potato planting and goodness. The Grimmer GL660 by Pushcap. Next. We've got this little beauty. Now, a lot of people have been asking for a while, and I don't know if this has slipped through the net. I don't know. Um about whether we can get any Alice Chalmers gear. Well, kind of. This is the Deutz Alice 9100 series by Julian F. Modding. Now, if you go onto the website and all the, and all the Mod Hub, there's a whole load of stuff on there that they've put on about Deutz Fahr going out to the US when Alice Chalmers were in financial difficulty and buying out Alice Chalmers. So pushing the kind of Deutz Fahr brand out into the US. So they did the Deutz Alice. Now to start off with, I think they switched over to Green Oyst immediately. I'm just looking at the, the notes it says here. I don't want to read it all out, um, but go and have a look. It's great. They, yeah, in 86, they were based on the Deutz Fahr DX. They were no longer painted orange like the previous Alice Chalmers vehicles, but painted in light green of the Deutz Fahr tractors. Now the long and short of it is they did American versions, as you can see here, which I love that. That's an American edition which is pretty cool. So you've got the Deutz Alice. So we've sort of got an Alice Chalmers. You've got that long front. The initial ones were built at the White Factory in Coldwater, Ohio. There's also, you can get in Deutz Fahr Green and you've got this air cooled logo on it as well. But the long and short of it being, after five years, Deutz Fahr ended up selling up. They lost nearly a billion Deutschmarks in the whole so sort of process and everything they intended to do a billion deutschmarks that's quite scary so anyway we've got the tractor in front of us it's 16.02 megabytes download 12 slots on console like i said by julian f modding i like the fact all the extra information has been added in which is really cool so yeah we've got the the word alice is there i mean that's the thing isn't it i know yes we've got deutsch already you'll find this under vehicles and medium tractors now, nice and cheap too, and what's pretty cool is the horsepower as well. So under medium tractors, we can change the main colour. We have got the Alice Orange from 1991 to 1992. There's the Dirty Snow. There's a whole load there, but I, I do like the Alice Orange. I think that's really nice. You can have a two-wheel drive option or a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive option. For some reason, I just think it looks better in the two-wheel drive, but that's, again, personal. Um, we've got Single row crops, row crop and weights, dual row crops. Now, ploughing setup's an interesting one. I haven't come across this before as options. Look. That's something different, isn't it? Then single row crop. So we're back in, yeah. Those are the options for tyres. Then cab configurations. Now, this is where things get a bit interesting. We've got no. We've got a GPS unit on the roof. We've got a sprayer terminal inside. Sprayer terminal and GPS unit. Planter terminal. Planter terminal and GPS unit. Sprayer and planter terminal. Sprayer and planter terminal and GPS on the roof. Then we've got phone stand in there. Couldn't work out where that is exactly, but it's a phone stand. Then you've got Daddy Where's My Carpet, I think it is. So <laughs> I'll show you it in a minute, but inside it puts a carpet in there. Um, oh, hang on. And it puts a sticker on the door as well. You have to take your shoes off. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Uh, then you've got carpet plus one. Then it goes to all the same options again, but with carpet in there. And then back off again. Exterior configurations. We've got standard. We've got straight pipe without mirrors. Pipe without mirrors. Air-cooled badge, which puts the mirrors back on. Air-cooled badge. America edition. Air-cooled and pipe. America and pipe. Air <laughs> cooled with that. There's a whole load, don't we? Um, have a look through. The engine setup. We've got 186 horsepower or 202 horsepower. 
So 202 horsepower with a couple of changes I've made and it could go up a little bit. I think one of the ones I checked out was 44 grand for a 202 horsepower tractor, which is pretty good. Then we've got the steering attachments, front weight 200 kilogram, 400, 600, 800, stole front loader or no. So you can either have front weights or a front loader, not both, I think because of the way it all attaches. So quite a few different options to be looking at and a few to have a fiddle around with. What we'll do is we'll hop into this. Lights. I do like the long front. It's got that Alice Chalmers look to it that, you know, and the white tractors, a lot of the ones around that time. But if you're particularly an Alice Chalmers fan, I know it's not that, you know, but it's, I think as near as we're going to get for the time being. Interior, nicely detailed. Oh, there's the phone thing on the window, look. All the modern amenities you could need. Now what we will do is just double check. I don't think we've got doors and windows that open. No, we haven't. the other one I'm going to show you <laughs> this one's got all of the, the the bells and whistles on it but look at the carpet it's a play mat <laughs> that's really cool it's that daddy where's my carpet so there's a kids play mat so if you're taking your, your young children out into the field with you and they're a bit bored <laughs> although your feet are probably in the way but what you've also got on the window there, when you get the carpet in there, there's a little sticker that says shoe free zone. It's just nice little touches. So there you go. I like it. I like it a lot. Good price, nice horsepower, looks good. Sounds good, some nice little tweaks and touches to it. That's the Deutz Alice 9100 series by Julian F. Modding, which I think brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's this one. This is the John Deere 8110 by JA Modding. It is 18.82 megabytes download. It is 39 slots on console for the tractor. This also comes with this, this tank unit setup, which is three slots. We'll have a look at it in a second. It's under crop protection, tools and crop protection. 2,600 litres of, of uh, either liquid fertiliser or herbicide which can be added on. All the pipe work is on there with all the little valves and stuff on there too. We'll have a look at the tractor first, then we'll have a look at the tanks. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. But nicely, nicely detailed mod. Looks nice. There's a couple of bits. It's weird. It's, it's nicely detailed. There's a lot going on. But there's a couple of bits that look a little bit flat. I, mean, I suppose they're, they're supposed to be, aren't they? But sort of texture-wise, they just look a little bit I don't know, just me. Probably just me. You'll find these also under vehicles and medium tractors. So the 8000 series is 80 grand for the base model. Slot count will drop down from 39 to 2. Now, where it says uh, weak insole film, it's like when you put the um, tinting film. So weak, medium, strong. So you can tint right the way down if you want to. Then you've got design, standard, additional flashes. Let's go a little bit so you can see. So you can have additional flashes like a US spec. You can have the warning squares like an EU spec. Then it says three. I think that changes the exhaust. Yep. So you've got a side pipe. And you can have that with the side flashes or the warning signs. Then three, a shorter pipe, same options again, back to standard. So that's all your pipes and things like that. Then you've got low weight support with various different weights going all the way up. Something to be aware of. If you do want to use those tanks that come with it, you need to have it on high support. So that one's low weight support, but if you want the tanks, you need the high support. Now, I haven't tried it with high support and weights. It just says high support, so that's what I went with. Um, but just bear that in mind. If you've got the low weights and you can't work out why your, your tank won't go on it, it could be because you haven't got it on high support. So high support, oh, hang on. High support with weights all the way up and off again. 
Then you've got tyres, you've got weightless balloons, you've got balloon with weight, double duplicated balloon with weights, care wheels, row crops, with weights, care rear, with weights, care twins, again with weights, back to weightless balloon. Then engine set up, we've got 183 horsepower, 205 horsepower, 227 horsepower, 261 horsepower. Now interestingly, which makes a change actually, you don't often find this, all of those horsepower increases don't incur any extra cost. So you can go up to a 261 horsepower, didn't change the price at all. So I'm looking at 90 grand for a 261 horsepower tractor. Not bad. Like that, startup's nice. Now, it has got some interesting features as well. Can we open up a help me? We'll do the horn first. Horn. Then we go lights. And off. Now, if we go through those light options, when we get to there, we go in cab and look up. The next one, puts, you can put an interior light. So you can scroll through your light options. And then interior. Like that. Gives you an extra option. Uh... L1 and X folds those away, and if you've got the EU spec, it will fold the side warning cubes away. Indicators on those, that's what I meant about they look a little bit flat, and then you have got indicators in there as well. But, it, you know, but then that's more than made up for, for some of the other bits we've got on here, which is, you know, it's interesting how that happens. So, L1 and right stick up and down, opens and closes the door, and you get an interior light comes on and off. You get the door handle gets depressed when you do it. R1 and right stick side to side opens the rear window. L1 and R1 right stick side to side opens. Oh no, just the steering wheel. There's not the other door on the other side. Adjust the steering wheel up and down. So from inside, we can adjust our steering wheel up and down manually if you want to. And then what we have got is where it says open cover. If we look down at the monitor, and let's get around so the, the lights on it a little bit better. There we go. Let's go to about there. So, L1 and left on the D-pad, open cover, changes the screen. So you can change the sort of, again, a narrative kind of thing. Once you get in the field, you can put that on. So you can flick between your different menus. And again, it's a little detail, but it's, it's nice. I like that. Oh, the other thing as well was, um, we have got the camera position is fixed with the seat so you get that bounce a lot of times you don't get that it's something I try to look for whenever I do vehicles and tractors and stuff like that sometimes I forget and I do apologize but um, yeah so you've got that bit of bounce so the camera is fixed with the seat and not the seat bouncing around you that's quite considering the startup of that the, the turn off is a little bit abrupt isn't it I think but anyway right so That screen just moved as well. So the screens at the side. Oh yeah, screen moves as well. Cool. So like I say, with this one, L1 and X can fold up or unfold those. So if I do, uh, what do I want to do? Do that and disconnect those and move out the way. So those are the tanks separately. Now, also something to bear in mind. I want to do a thumbnail with these tyres with the tanks on as well. With the, the jewels and the row crop jewels, I couldn't get in there to get the tanks on. I just kept clipping the tanks and it wouldn't give me any option to attach. So I had to go back to a standard set of tyres to fit between here. We just drive into them, press X, 2,600 litres of either liquid fertiliser or herbicide, and then hook up wherever you want on the back to run it. Now those you will find, as I said, under crop protection. So tools, crop protection, and you've got the tank there, 8,000 to buy, 2,600 litres. Slot count that as three, which then comes down to one. Uh, there's no options on those. Whoa. 
No options on those for colour and thing. They come with the John Deere. Yellow. So there we go. A few different mods. Some nice additions today. I, I do like that. I do like the tank option that comes with that. Um, I like. I do. I do like the army shed, the movable army shed. But I think having the uh, the Deutz Alice. Yeah, very cool. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.